What's going on YouTube? Louisiana Boy here. I'm doing my Diamondback Part 2 review. I went out and shot this gun yesterday. It ran like a champ. I went and put the uh, Black Hawk ergonomic AR grip on there. Put the True Glow Reflex. You better look at that. I got a green and red reticle in there. And it's just gonna be it's gonna be a heck of a hog hammer. When I get everything done to so yeah, my hog hammer. Yeah, it's gonna be a good little hog shooter. Got the shooting the thirty rounds of five five six ammunition through it. It'll just shoot them just as fast as you want. That's what come with a little, you know, magazine. I'm gonna get a probably buy two P mags for it. Shooting a 55 grain. Let me focus. 55 grain. Regular ball ammo for it. Full metal jacket. And it's just come that 30 round magazine there. Oh, that's my my nine right there. My nine millimeter pistol. It's a fun gun to shoot. I did a review on it earlier that reflex sight though is it's affordable you know about $75 for that I had mine done at Simmons Sporting Goods and they slap it on there for you I was going to put a scope on it but the way they had to set it up for the scope was just ridiculous I had to put a riser block on it bolt that to the gun and they had to put the scope rings on there this is crazy I didn't want it done that way it looked like, it looked like crap Tell you the truth. Yeah, but that reflex sight though, it's just slapped onto the gun, just like I said, right on top of the Picatinny rail there. And it's yeah, it's just gonna be a hell of a hog hammer gun. So it's, it's gonna be a deer shooter too. I might kill a few deers with it, I don't know yet. But it, it ran every time you pull the trigger and just as fast as you pull the trigger to go. Yeah. No hang-ups, no failure to feed, ejected brass, just like it should. Nothing wrong with a gun, I mean, I've seen a lot of people have problem with them, but they just had a bad gun. You know, this one, it just ran like a champ. So, I said, uh, I'm about to upgrade the buffer spring in it. It's got the round wire buffer spring. Put a flat wire buffer spring in there, it'll probably get a million and a half rounds ran through it before you need to change that flat wire spring with this one. The round wire spring, probably about 50,000 rounds to go through it before you have to change it. And the P mags, I'm going to go ahead and put the flat wire magazine spring in there too. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment on my about the gun. I'll be happy to answer them. You know, subscribe to my channel for more awesome gun reviews. I got the uh, Remington 783. My Remington 783, chambered in a 308. It's got the Leopold mounts on it, and uh, it's got a Bushnell DOA 600 scope on there. That's an awesome scope. Uh, that'll be next. My next review, I'm gonna try to get this one, get some footage of this one working and running. It's just like a machine gun. It's fast you pull a trigger. Alright, guys. Uh, for now, it's Louisiana boy, and I'm out of here. 